Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another review. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Supreme SS19 Dynamite Tees. All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna unbox two different colorways of the Supreme Dynamite Tee. And after that, I'm gonna tell you guys resale predictions and whether or not I think you should hold or sell. And finally, we're gonna end this video off with an on-body shot of this T-shirt. So getting right into it, I did actually manage to cop two different Supreme Dynamite tees this week. I have one in a black colorway and another one in a white colorway. Now I did get both of these for retail on drop day. Once again, Supreme website was messing up and the drop did happen a couple seconds late, um, but it wasn't as bad as the week before where it happened like three minutes late from what I believe. And it was just really bad. Everyone was freaking out. This week it was like 15 seconds late, um, but everyone, most of the people I knew managed to cop what they wanted. Now obviously I was going for the Buju Banton tee, undoubtedly the best piece of this week. Uh, it was a Supreme photo tee, so it was popular. Um, I would say up there with the TNF, CDG, and the BOGOs. Um, the resale is looking pretty good on those right now. I would say 175 depending on the colorway and the size that you managed to cop. But I did take a fat L on those because I was going for black medium, which was one of the first sizes and colorways to sell out. I did also go for the other tee, the other Buji Benton tee, the Wake the World tee, I believe it's called. But I did take an L on that one as well. So I was like, screw it. We might as well try to copy Dynamite tee because that was up there for um, this week's drop list. And I thought it's a really nice piece overall. I'll give you guys a picture right now of what it looks like. The retail was 38 US dollars for this item. And of course, after shipping, and since I live in New Jersey, I didn't really have to pay taxes. So it was 48 shipped for each of these. So without further ado, let's get unboxing. All right, so we're gonna unbox the smaller package first. Now, I'm actually pretty excited to see what stickers and accessories I got this week because from what I know, there is apparently a Supreme pin that comes with all orders this week. So I'm really excited to see what that pin looks like. I also heard that there is a sticker pack and hopefully I get a Buju Banton sticker pack because photo tee um, stickers usually go up in price as photo tees go up. And even right now, I think it's going for like $15, which is a lot more than any other sticker. All right, guys, so we got the bag on the box. Let me put up the brightness a little bit so it's better for you guys to see. All right, so it comes in the standard Supreme plastic shopping bag. Um, that's to be expected, all ship in this bag. So we have the grails inside. All right, this is looking very nice. Hold on, did we get a pin? Oh, we did get a pin. All right, let's go. So starting off, here is a quick look at the Supreme Dynamite tee. Once again, I did cop a black medium, which I'm very happy because I will actually be able to wear this one. Now the other one, which I got in a white colorway, I'll most likely be holding that one. More to that in just a second. Um, but here we go, we have the Supreme um, keychain over here. This is, i uh, give you guys a better look at this. So it says, I love power violence. Now I personally do not condone violence, but that's just what it says on the pin and also has the Supreme logo on the bottom. Here's the bag, it says Power Violence Button. Um, pretty cool. I haven't really collected previous Supreme pins, um, but I might and just get like a white t-shirt and just put all of them on it because that would be pretty cool. So that's the pin that comes with the orders this week. I believe there's also like a pink or an orange variant, I forget, but um, that's pretty cool uh, that they included that for free. Next thing we got is the sticker pack. So we have the um, sticker pack. Once again, it has the designs from this week's tees. So I'm just gonna move this around so I can show you guys. First off, we have my man, Buju Banton. Now, a lot of people didn't even know who Buju Banton was. Um, I personally knew because I was listening to DJ Khaled's new album, which is pretty good in my opinion, but um, Buju Banton was the starting and ending songs. He was featured in both of them. So um, that's how I knew of him. It's pretty cool. He's wearing a Supreme BOGO. My man's flexing. I don't even have one of those, but um, it's pretty cool. We also have the, uh, I forget what this one's called. It's like that woman and it says like, it gets better every time or something. We have that sticker in the background. So that's a sticker pack that we received with this week's order. Not bad, we're gonna toss those to the side. And before we look, take a look at that t-shirt, we're just gonna unbox my other package really quickly. All right guys, so we just got the other bag out of the bag. And as you can see, I kind of cut the Supreme bag, but thank God I did not cut the tee itself. So the other t-shirt we got, like I said earlier, is the Supreme Dynamite tee, this time in a white colorway in a size medium um i did end up picking this one up because i was like you know it might as well good i might as well have two because i can wear one keep on dead stock for the future because i do solely believe that these will go up in price especially if you keep them dead stock just because you can really obviously tell that it's supreme by the branding on the bottom 
and the tea itself looks really nice. There's like a TNT with like a face on it. Um, you can tell it's Supreme. It's pretty classic branding. I like it overall. So let's see what came with this week's, um, this order right here. So it looks like we got another sticker and a pin, which I'm very happy to see. So the first thing we have is once again, another one of those power violence um, buttons or pins, whatever you want to call them. Um, same exact thing that we saw before. So I'm not really go too much in depth for that one. We did get a different sticker pack this week. As you can see, we have my man's Buju Banton and the BOGO once again. Um, but this time we also got a Supreme Cloud sticker. This was actually one of the graphics on the tees this week. I actually managed to cop two Cloud tees and the Cloud tees are kind of breaking right now, not gonna lie. But um, I just kind of like the design on them. So that's why I copped it. I did cop two, um, both in white medium. I'm probably gonna be selling one of those. So if you wanna buy one for a really cheap price, don't forget to check out my eBay store, link in bio. Um, that's, that's enough self-promotion. Um, here's the sticker pack itself. Same thing once again. Okay, so that's it for the unboxing portion of this video. Now I'm gonna go over my resale predictions of the Dynamite tees. Now, during the time of this recording, these tees are currently going for around $70, um, $65 to $70 US each on StockX, which I honestly don't like. I could probably sell them for more on eBay, but that's just what it's going for, and that kind of determines the marketplace. So I guess it is what it is. Um, like I said, these two t-shirts are probably the best colorways, not the best size. Smalls are always the best size, but um, white and black were the best colorways of this week. And they're both going for a decent amount of money. Um, I, I would say like about double of retail. Now after shipping, uh, StockX or eBay fees, PayPal fees, you're not really making that much money, maybe like 15 bucks each. Um, but I would definitely say if you have this dead stock, definitely, definitely um, hold on to this item. You know, I could see this going up a lot in a couple of years just because it's, really, it's a really classic design. It's very simple and it's obvious that it's supreme. Um, if you have multiple like I do, uh, you could wear one if you want. I'm probably gonna open one of these up and wear it just because it's such a nice t-shirt. and I really love the graphic. But that's it for the review of the shirts. Now I'm gonna get all this stuff out of the way. We're gonna take an in-depth look at this t-shirt really quick and then I'm gonna give you guys an on-body shot. So here's what the shirt looks like. Um, here's the tag. If you guys wanna legit check, this should be similar to all other Supreme tags that we've seen previously because um, they use the same tag on every single shirt unless it's a collab. So that's the tag itself. You guys wanna check a look. Now, if you buy from Supreme directly or you buy from someone claiming that it's dead stock, if they got it online, it should come in this plastic bag. Now, if it comes with a Supreme tag or a DSNNY tag, that means they bought it in store. That doesn't mean it's fake. It just means that they went in store for the release and that's where they bought it. Now, you do want to um, be careful because there are fake Supreme in-store tags. Uh, if it doesn't have a sticker on the back, it's most likely fake because all uh, retail Supreme tags will have a retail price sticker on the back, which signifies that it came from in-store. Now, if you got it on like, like I did, it should come in a plastic bag with this sticker on the bottom. Um, just says the colorway and the size you got. Uh, nothing crazy, it's really simple. It's the plastic bag on the back. It has like warning saying, oh, don't leave this near children, they might suffocate, all that stuff. So that's it for the overview of the tee. Now I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna give you guys some on-body shots of the t-shirt. Let's get right into it. 